All right, this is just a quick little video. More as reference than anything else. This, of course, could be printed in one piece on this bed, okay, because it, it, it will fit. The problem is, if you print it as one piece, you would definitely have to use supports, as you can see here. Okay, supports would be required pretty much everywhere. I mean, not only from the bed to the print, but also in between these places. These areas here are flat and they stick out. Okay, flat and they stick out. That would lead the, the, the slicer to want to put supports here and here and here, the other side, and all through here, up through here. Um, anyway, it, it, it is just open for using supports all the way, uh, including in here. Okay, so what I usually do is I'll look at a model as it was designed and try to look at it on how I could print it without the use of support at all because that would risk failure at any time during the print. I would rather print something in such a way that if any part of it failed, I would just print it again, not the whole thing. So I'm going to go ahead and set this down here and go through a, a small how-to or show how this was printed. Okay, it, it's, it's challenging, but at the end of the day, by printing it in the way I did this, doesn't make it slower, doesn't make it take any longer, but it, because it still uses the same filament that it would be needed anyway. Okay, so the filament used would be pushed out whether it's in one piece or several pieces. So I'm going to show just how I printed this, how I looked at it, is what could I do to avoid supports and avoid a failure somewhere in between this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this piece off here. Okay. So that it is one thing that you notice here but again we have supports that could be here so this is now being printed as a kit most times you could purchase kits like in the olden days have the individual parts and glue together so all of these pieces were printed individually okay and now it can be uh, painted or whatever you want to do without disrupting the rest of the the model in the process. Okay, now I'm going to show here this piece also comes out and it is printed in a different color, black. Okay, also since this is printed in silk metallic silver, it is printed separately as well. Okay, on the bed flat. So everything you see here is printed flat on the bed. See if I can get this piece out. And as you can see for yourself, no, no supports would be needed up to this point. Okay? I took a pin, this is a piece of filament right here with a hole in the center so that everything that needs to be lined up can easily be lined up because it's using the pin and hole method. So all of these can be printed, no supports up to this point. Now at the end of the day there is a plate down here, okay, that you can see down there at the bottom. There is a, an ending plate right here. To avoid printing that and needing supports, what I did is I split this portion in half, okay. And you can see it uses the pins and holes. This part was also printed separately because if I had done it in this way, this part, if it was sitting like this, would need supports. So this plate was glued on here. I just glued it on here uh, just so that when I assemble the thing, it's uh, 
it's easily put together. But yes, this plate here, which fits on top of here, which represents these other plates, is now printed separately as well. Okay, so we would have these four items, one, two, three, four, five items, this plate separately. This would be printed in this orientation, not this, because it might leave a mess up in here, okay, up inside, that would need supports. I don't want support, so that would be printed this way, the plate would be printed separately, and again, everything would be flat to the table. Again, this was printed flat to the table this way, okay, the pins, of course, weren't there, but the holes were. And this did indeed have a little issues. Okay, no supports were needed, but my bridging, the bridging across here worked out well. So if you have your printer set up well, then this distance is pretty basic for an Ender 3. Okay, so it would start laying down this top as a bridge all the way across and then finish up building on that. Okay, also this piece okay it probably could have been printed like that you know but i did print it separately and it is glued glued into place but at the end of the day i could indeed print this no i couldn't because oh yeah i could because this was laying flat like that not like this because i would have had to deal with this plate here so it was printed like this this was printed separately but it could indeed be printed on here, but you would have to deal with these, these two items here. Those were also printed separately, okay, and glued into place. So these were printed with a much smaller size nozzle than a 0.4 millimeter. 0.2 did that, these very well. 0.4 probably would have been a, a bit of a challenge. So these two items were printed separately and glued on, okay, so that it, it sits there like that. This was printed separately, this was printed separately, and everything was glued together like a kit. So there you go. That particular item can be printed in its entirety with zero supports. That's Printing 101. Thank you for watching.